liked the chasing scenes and we liked the chasing scenes from this film, so we were inspired to use some quick cuts and particular shots types from this film. The quick cuts can help to make the scene seem very action filled and intense. The fact that Jason Bourne manages to get away has inspired us for our film because then the protagonist in our film can do the same. He or she can escape from the clown evidently as the protagonist most likely gets away. As the protagonist will be getting chased by a killer clown the shot is going to be overflowing with action. The camera shots at the beginning of this clip are either extreme close-ups or close-ups to show you Parsons expression about what is currently happening. Her facial appearance of what you can see within the scene looks quite worrying as if something bad could potentially happen in the near future. There is also very dark lighting almost as if she is a silhouette when the camera is on her to convey her possibility of being bad as it seems that she is trying to escape from something. As soon as Bourne comes into the picture you realise that all of the editing techniques have got a lot quicker to show all of the chaos and a lot of information all in one go. The storyline within this scene is very complicated as it leaves the audience trying to figure out why Bourne and Parsons are running from the man and what they have done wrong. Within this clip you have a stereotypical male, Bourne, who is running to try and find Parsons and save her from the guy who is trying to find her and possibly kill her. This is a very good clip to take inspiration from as the fight scene looks very realistic and really grips the audience which could be a good aspect to have within our film if we wanted it. Also there is a great use of props to make the clip look more look that more realistic and different as it could actually happen. There is also a high angle whilst Bourne and the villain are in the bathroom to show Bourne's power and how he has taken the hierarchy. <laughs>